we can expect probably some little pests. The wet weather bringing out some annoying little bugs. Diane Ryan helping us this morning keep them out of our homes. Hey, Dee. Hey, good morning. Take a look at this behind me. There's a scorpion right here on this wall and probably looking for a place to uh, stay nice and warm after all of that rain. Uh, we are here with uh, John Llewellyn from Arrow uh, Exterminators and they've got some ideas uh, of how we can keep these bugs out of our house. And uh, you said it's uh, some really easy things to do. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, for instance, on those scorpions, uh, today, Anthony is going to be uh, sealing up this J trim area. You see that void. What happens is scorpions can forage up along that void, up that stem wall into that void and get into the house. They can drop out uh, recess lighting. They can come out exhaust vents inside the bathrooms and uh, laundry areas. Uh, moving right along here, also your windows. Uh, make sure that there's no voids, uh, cracks, or crevices that uh, bugs can uh, penetrate that and get inside your home as well. And then right here, we have some plumbing. Got to make sure this is nice and tight around the around the plumbing as well, so nothing can penetrate the to, to penetrate the wall and get inside. Mm -hmm. So uh, you were talking about what ants and scorpions and and spiders. Yeah, absolutely. Ants uh, ants definitely will get inside your house. So when we're talking ants, we might want to look over here at the doors, uh, making sure that the uh, the door sweeps are nice and tight. If you can get a business card underneath them or a credit card. Uh, they're not tight enough. On this particular door, it's perfect. You can't get the, you can't slide a business card underneath it. Also, look for your weather stripping. The weather stripping should be nice and tight as well around the doors. Mm -hmm. So, is that good enough? Oh yeah, absolutely. That door is very tight. Weather stripping's awesome on it. There's no issues with this door whatsoever. Okay, so leaving uh, windows open and things like that—that's an invitation, probably, to for spiders and. Um, anything any other critter well as the weather gets nicer we have a tendency to leave the windows open uh, not a good idea uh, you know probably do your due diligence shut the windows leave it open for a little bit uh, that but but you, but you definitely want to probably keep it shut now I was hearing that you could probably put something in your drain that might keep the cockroaches from coming up as well what are your thoughts on that you know we use uh, there's some products out there that you can use one that we particularly use is a drain gel uh, it works very well, especially for American roaches. And does it keep them actually from not coming up through the drain? Uh, no, it, it, they can still come up for the drain, no <laughs> doubt about it. No doubt about it. So you just have to be probably diligent about it. Absolutely. Yeah, so it seems like every time it's rainy, we do see all of these bugs, but also in the heat as well. Oh, yeah. You know, bugs thrive in the heat, and with our warm weather, uh, it's going to be a, a, a pretty good bug season. All right. Well, I've seen a lot of uh, cockroaches in, in my uh, house uh, this weekend, and I think it's probably because of all the rain coming in, but uh, they're, they don't last in my house for very long if I see them. I, I was wondering, yes, Diane, what location, <laughs> what area of town are you in? We're here in uh, Paradise Valley. We're right off uh, 68th uh, Street in Mockingbird. Okay. Wow. I was just and, wondering uh, about the scorpions, you know, and the various locations yeah. you find them. The yeah, the scorpions house. are everywhere. I guess. Aren't they everywhere? Pretty much, they're they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Scorpions are in every neighborhood. No matter where you live, and you're going to find. Don't they scorpions. say that they're, if you're close to a mountain, you're more prone to have scorpions? Probably that is. The, if you live closer to a mountain, you probably have more scorpions. Is that true? Absolutely, it could be mm -hmm. the case. Yeah. It seems like it. Uh, friends of mine who do live close to mountains say they do tend to see more scorpions yeah. and snakes as mm -hmm. well. Okay, and I was snakes. just wondering, but thanks, Diane. You know